Hey everyone, Desiree here. So today I thought I would show you what's in my planner tote slash caddy. I'm not sure what these things are called. I bought this so long ago. Um, I picked it up at Walmart and I want to say it was maybe like 10 or $15. It wasn't that expensive at all. And I want to say it's like, it's called a caddy, but I'm not sure if it's called a sewing caddy or a sewing tote. Anyways, if I can find it on uh, Walmart, I will link it below so that way you can see exactly what it is. And um, I'm going to do my best to kind of give you a full, you know, 360 view of this so you can totally see it. I love it. I know um, there's been a lot of videos where people have either this exact same kind of tote. You can find them at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. Um, and I think some people say they even find them like at uh, Marshall's or TJ Maxx, Ross, those kind of stores. But uh, anyways, I thought I would show you how I've got mine set up and what I've got inside of it. Now, this is what I use to keep all of my notebooks organized when I'm at home. So like, you know, when I'm going from room to room or to the dining room table to my room and I need to take my notebooks instead of having to you know carry them separately I just use this little um, tote here and yes it is quite heavy but luckily <laughs> I don't have to carry it for, for you know too long or too far so um, as you can see it's got lots of compartments it's got tons of um, little pockets around the outside which I will show you what I've got in mind so let's go ahead and get started. I'll start with the main part, this um, top part here first. So as you can see, I've got my notebooks in here, the four main notebooks that I use pretty much on a daily basis for organizing, planning, and journaling. I've got um, my Foxy Fix butterscotch here, and I've got my pencil pouch here which I've done a video on and I'll link that below in case you're interested I also have my Foxy Fix Wonderlust this is my main journal here oh I forgot I if I said this is my social media planner here uh, this is my main planner my Foxy Fix Rowena in the size 8 this is my everyday carry Chic Sparrow Outlander Jitney Red in a size narrow this is my other pen case that I use. I've also done a video on this. Um, it was quite a long time ago, so I probably need to do an updated video on that, which I probably will do this month. And then in this uh, section here, I've just got this zip baggie filled with like random pens and stuff that um, either I don't keep in a pencil case or I don't use it as often or I just didn't have room. So I just kind of keep this stuff in here. It's just random. So as you can see, this has got little divider compartments here. This is one big main compartment. And then this back part is a divided compartment here. Now um, some of these uh, little organizer totes have removable compartments here so you can customize it to how you want it. I find that I don't really care for those because most of them are Velcro and depending on what you may have in there, sometimes I have found the Velcro is not always that sturdy. All right, so, oh, and it's got, I think I showed this, it's got, uh, it's got, you know, two handles here on the top. All right, so let's start with this front uh, zip pocket here. It's got a zip pocket that goes all the way across. And in here, I just have my correction uh, pens. I picked these up at Dollar Tree a while ago. Sometimes they're hard to find. They might have them now because it's back to school time. But um, I got these at Dollar Tree. I really, really like these. Well, when they work, when they're not clumpy. I also have this white out here. And then I've got these um, white out, uh, one of these white out corrector tapes in there. 
On this side, you can see it's got one big slim pocket here, and I've just got my rulers that I use. I've got the Erin Condren ruler that I cut. I cut the, um, you know, the part where it connects to the coils. I cut that part off, and I really like using this um, as a ruler when I'm working in my bullet journal. So I keep that in there, and then, oops, sometimes I need the bigger ruler, and I keep that in there also. Um, it's got two little pockets here, and on this side I have my X-Acto knife and a hole punch, and then on this side I have a pair of big scissors and a rotary cutter that I bought a while ago from um, Daiso. On the other side, you can see it's got a, a pocket here and then two little pockets here and then some slim pockets, oops, slim pockets uh, right in here. And in this one I have my, these are the white gel pens that I really like and I can't remember the name of them. Oh, the Uniball Signo Broadpoint um, white pens. These are my favorite, favorite pens. When you buy them on Amazon, they come in a three pack. So I keep those there. This is just a, a random tube of glue. In this Velcro middle pocket, I've got um, glue dots, a tape runner, and that's it. On this side, I've got a repositionable glue stick. And then I also have just a regular glue stick. I buy these because I go through them so much, you know, with my son and myself. And I buy these from uh, the 99 cent store. I think they sell like an eight pack or something for 99 cents. And it works pretty good. And then I don't have anything in this pocket here. On this side, I've got another uh, Velcro pocket and then two pockets here which I don't have anything in and in here I've got oh I've got a um, I think this, this is a decorative tape runner or maybe it's a regular tape runner or whiteout I can't remember <laughs> what this is but anyway that's what's in there and that is it so I hope you enjoyed this look inside my planner tote or planner caddy, whatever it's called. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And make sure you subscribe because I've got a lot more videos to come. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>